Hey guys, this is Chris Beck with the Back Table Lab, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the Barbo test. So, if you're ready to take on some radial cases, uh, one of the um, clinical backbones to uh, know about your patient's circulation of the hand is the Barbo test. So, basically, what you'll do is you'll um, put a pulse ox onto the index finger or the thumb, and then you'll compress the radial artery and the ulnar artery at the same time, and then release the ulnar artery to see um, if you have dual perfusion to the hand. So basically to do the Barbeau test, what you're going to want to do is compress the radial and ulnar artery at the same time, and then you're going to compress both arteries at exactly the same time. You're going to wait for a flattening of your waveform, which we see here. So you'll let that flattened waveform run for about two cycles, and then release the ulnar artery. And then in this case, he has a Barbeau A, but basically if you're looking for a return of your waveform within two minutes, you have a Barbeau A, B, or C, and you should be uh, good to go from a radial access standpoint uh, with regards to the Barbeau test. There are a couple other things you need to look at, um, but from Barbeau, you should be good to go.